Hello and welcome to Inside Indiana Business. I'm Gary Dick. In 2009, Elkhart was in the national spotlight for the wrong reason. President Barack Obama made Elkhart the first city he visited as president because Elkhart County had the highest unemployment rate in the nation. But a lot has changed since that visit. The RV capital of the world riding a continued rebound in that sector. The city has christened a $23 million renovation to the uh, historic Hotel Elkhart. There's also ambitious revitalization underway in Elkhart's River District. Plus, the city topped a Wall Street Journal housing index. With more on what's driving the positive developments. I'm pleased to welcome Economic Development Corporation of Elkhart County CEO Chris Steger. Chris, uh, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Hey, Chris, I mentioned off the top, uh, let's go rewind uh, back to 2009. President Obama there, there was a lot of national attention uh, on uh, Elkhart County, unfortunately because uh, of the unemployment rate. Take us back to 2009 and what the, the vibe was like, if you will, in Elkhart County. Well, obviously, uh, we topped out uh, almost at 20 percent in unemployment. Uh, very challenging. Uh, you know, we have uh, a lot of uh, manufacturing and manufacturing, uh, generally speaking, uh, declined uh, a lot during uh, the recession. Uh, our manufacturing is largely in the mobility sector and the RV space. So we felt uh, uh, a lot of pressure as an organizationally and as a community as we came out of the recession. Uh, to make sure that uh, we're uh, committing to the community that we try to make that a better scenario next time around. Yeah, and certainly things have changed in a big way. The RV sector is very cyclical, of course. So many things have happened. Uh, in fact, recently uh, christening the uh, Hotel Elkhart, a boutique hotel, that really I think is representative in so many ways of a transformation going on in Del uh, downtown Elkhart and along the riverfront as well. Uh, our, our, our river district, uh, uh, we recently, uh, last year, uh, opened a new aquatic center. It was uh, over $60 million aquatic center. Uh, it's really been the uh, a, a pinnacle of an outstanding public-private partnership that was put together over the last couple of years. Uh, you mentioned the downtown Elkhart uh, Hotel. Uh, we're also improving the waterways in downtown so they're more navigable. And we have a significant amount of, um, of multifamily uh, housing going up there as well. So we're trying to make it a more walkable community in downtown Elkhart. Yeah, I should mention, too, a big announcement just a few weeks ago. Amazon, uh, about a $200 million uh, investment in a new major new distribution center and last mile facility. That, again, uh, it goes to the diversification of the economy continuing to take place there. Yeah, we're, we're happy to have uh, a project of this scope uh, come into our region. We, we recognize that it was going to be in the region regardless. Uh, so we wanted to make sure that we supported it and be uh, consistent with our growth to try to grow automation and uh, more uh, sophisticated use of technology in all of our businesses here. Yeah, we'll talk about that, uh, Chris, because automation, Elkhart County, that area, uh, one of the most at risk uh, for loss of jobs because of automation. You're trying to take that head on. You know, it was a big investment by Lilly Endowment. Notre Dame's involved in, in getting some workers trained for that, uh, that, that future workforce. Yeah, we actually had the highest per capita robots in the United States. Uh, in the 2017 survey, but the same survey indicated that we were at risk uh, due to automation. So uh, we, uh, we, along with uh, our regional partnership, the South Bend Elkhart Regional Partnership, uh, we've uh, uh, been working with an uh, entity we put together called the Labs for Industry Transformation. Uh, that's uh, allowing us to go out and work with industries to figure out where they're at on their digital journey uh, and making sure that we're supporting them uh, as yeah. they try to implement automation in their facilities. Yeah, and I know as you talk about uh, the Amazons and the, the, the workforce uh, issues you're dealing with as well, back to that downtown revitalization, the quality of place improvements, key to kind of that, that, that bigger picture of attracting and keeping talent in the region? Yeah, we were one of the initial recipients of, uh, of the uh, regional city's money. Uh, we received a little over uh, $41 million. Uh, just in uh, downtown Elkhart alone, we believe that that 
aquatic center project has level, leveraged about $200 million of private uh, sector investment uh, in the downtown. Well, we have about 30 seconds left, Chris, but I know we were talking on the phone earlier uh, today. You mentioned uh, if people want to get a feel for how Elkhart really is now, if they haven't been up there for five or 10 years, you say they just ought to take a drive through town. Yeah, it's a wonderful place. We've really, uh, the downtown uh, and uh, the community is really uh, much more vibrant. Uh, we've had uh, some initiatives going on uh, lo locally uh, for the last three years called Vibrant Communities. So we're trying to get everybody uh, involved in making it a better place to live. Uh, we've had, uh, as I mentioned, the river uh, is improved. We're also working on uh, hiking and biking trails. Uh, there's a lot of nice amenities uh, here in Elkhart County we'd love to show off. All right, uh, show off uh, indeed. A lot of momentum in Elkhart. Chris Steger, the CEO of the Economic Development Corporation of Elkhart County. Chris, thanks as always. Look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you for having me. All right.